super dangerous. So this is what happens when you guys use a prop inside of a river and do not put a uh, well a jet portion on the bottom, make us into a jet prop. I wouldn't say this is the first one he's ever had an issue with. I broke one in Alaska and one in the Wisconsin River. Oh, I didn't know you had another one. You have another one here though, don't you? Yeah, show him that other prop. This, was, this wasn't me, this was all Spencer. But he is going to be putting a jet. How much is that even going to cost? Is it pretty expensive? It's to... like 1900 but the problem, I don't know what I'm doing yet. Damn, that is pretty expensive. But the thing is, if you don't do it, you're just going to end up keep having to buy props. Which, pay for itself in a month. Yeah, with three what, river trips. Three river trips, I mean, you go through props like crazy. This, one, this, one, this was one rock. That one was a couple rocks. This one was one rock. And this, but I wasn't driving the boat with that one. How much do these, these ones cost? Props? 100 bucks. Oh, that's not that bad. No. It's not not, 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 as, not as bad as the, on, like on our bigger boats are really expensive. What? Oh, yeah, Rob I forgot. Owes, Rob owes me a new hand. That's from that pike from the other day. He got it because we didn't have a net for some reason. Honestly, there's a big, there's a musky net. Like I have a musky net for this boat, and it's sitting in the garage. So. Good spot for it. Well, ladies and gentlemen, we're gonna be mixing things up a little bit. We're not just gonna be doing a normal fishing day because you know what? Yesterday was a little bit tough. So, you know what? Let's spice things up. Let's make it nice and spicy up in here. We're gonna be using the MTB Pro Box. One of us on the boat is gonna to have to be throwing it at all times and the other guy can be doing whatever he wants. But we're gonna do a little bit of a challenge type video. A little, little. Thanks, car. Did they wave at probably, you? Probably good audio there. But good, good challenge video. We got a little tournament team type deal. It's gonna be Peric and I on the, the old aluminum get at it boat that needs a new prop. And then it's gonna be Chris and good old Timmy. Timmy works for MTB. But they're gonna be have to use one box. One box at a time from both teams. Best five fish. Guess what? Weigh them and throw, what, what's up? The lake looks perfect for that box. Does it? Yeah. We haven't even looked. Oh, I gotta show them what's inside the box. You wanna do it for me? You wanna yeah. demonstrate it? Use the code right here, get 10 bucks off your first box if you have not snagged one. Show us what's inside this real quick, sweet succulent box. What do we got? We got we popper. popper. That's uh, good. Swim bait. That's good. What we got up next? Swim jig Ooh, by swim Nicholas jig. Lures. Small mouth. You know what? Bury you good. We're good. Small, we're smallmouth approved now. Yeah. We got a lunker hunt. Popping frog. There's some pads out there, which is gonna be key. Don't know why they're going over there. We got a B and M. Oh, that's gonna be little, tasty. That's tasty. gonna be tasty. Oh, if you guys want some swag, they got the shop that's going on. Oh, some treble, treble hooks. That's gonna be good for carp fishing or something. Oh, you know what those are for? I don't know. To change out the hooks. Up. Oh, we now just figured out we put two peas in the, there we go. Oh, wow, that's a good looking little jerk bait right We here. got a little jerk bait going on. Last but not least is going to have to be what's inside the box. You guys don't need to see that because you just saw it. Good to go. We got a measuring board if we ever need it. No clue why he wow. threw the baits over there because now he's got to go pick them up. That was a great unboxing. That was a good unboxing. You did really good, son. Really good. What is it called? I would kill your car Tim, probably. I would, I would. Turn the car off. Oh my mom. Yeah, Tim, I would probably turn your car off, buddy. Look how cockeyed it is. We need to lift up on Dude, that I side. I came in a little too hot on that one. <laughs> <laughs> he says I came in too hot. Okay. I came in a little hot on that. When I was backing up, I was looking at the side. I was like, oh wow. I should have known better. He's taking a really sharp yeah. angle there. Here, here, take this in, and we'll no, use to keep the ratchet side over here. There you go. Kind of like Cardi B. All right, Tim from MTB. Way to start the day off right there. Got him unstuck. Let's go catch some fish. All right, boys. What, what time are we coming back? Three o'clock. Three. Oh, there we go. Yep. Oh, there we go. Oh, little one? Little one. There's no size limit though. No so. size limit. We didn't say size, did we? Talk about a small mouth. That is a small mouth. It's a little guy. That bro. is a little guy. But I'll take him. Man, he wasn't coming off. We've got to figure out. Point six four. I was really stretching there. Point six four. Whoo! That's a killer. Point six four. All right. There's one. Tiny, tiny, tiny. Yep. Look at it. Look at the line bouncing. He's got it. Yep. How big do you think this one is? <laughs> Should we take them? We gotta take them. We gotta take them for now. All right. What if there's like two trillion of these size smallmouth in here? Yeah, it's kind of weird when you don't know a body of water. 0.57. 0.57, man, I'm catching the freaking toads. 
three in the boat. You guys are gonna have to wait kind of to the end to figure out what the whole deal is. I'm not showing any Peric stuff because right now Rob's catching the big ones, 0.64 and 0.57. That log goes deep into the water. There's got to be a fish on it. You see it? Yeah. There he is. Yep. He's, he's, on, he's on there. He's on there. He's on the back side. I can see him. That's a good fish. No. God dang it. He just wrapped me up. Well, that sucks. There we go. There we go. That's a better one. You want to you do a little bit of team effort here on this giant small jaw? Oh, just, just stick your hand underneath that belly of him and just give him a good, ooh. So we have to, our biggest right now is a freaking 137. 172. 172. 172. All right, Smalley. Let's get bigger, let's get bigger, let's get bigger, let's get bigger. But 172 makes up the limit. Now he's gotta get rid of all those really, really dinks, like all five of our fish are dinks. We gotta get rid of all five fish. We gotta get rid of, yeah, we're gonna get rid of all five of them. I mean, if I don't catch one right here, then they're definitely not on this kind of stuff. They'll look. Because that looked way too good. That's going to replace that little tiny one. But that spot that I just flipped in, like I said, looked way too juicy. Uh, yeah, I think it's a two pounder at least. And oh, yeah. that's a good that's one. A pounder, there sure. we go. That's what we needed, right? Yeah. I don't want to say I called my shot on that one, but. No, uh, you called your shot twice now today. I think that's decent for this oh. river. Oh, yeah. Two, four, five. It's a good one. Two, four, five. We are river fishing today, so. Good old smiley. Good old smile jowl. Oh, right, Deedon. That was a two, what did we say? I forget again. <laughs> Let's see what that's going to get rid of on here. What's up, Avery? What are you doing? 247 gets rid of a 0.64. No, no, no. 247 gets rid of a 0.57. We just added two more pounds, dude. Get rid of a half pounder. Nothing like getting rid of a half pounder, huh? Oh, God dang, did I just get freaking hammered. Good one? Dude, yes. Oh my gosh, yes. Dude, he, he'll eat again. He didn't even hit the hook. Oh my God, look at that wake. <gasps> you got it? Yep, yep. Oh, there we go, there we go. Oh my God, dude. I, did you see that thing get smoked? Huh? We're on him now. Oh my gosh, that thing hammered this. Hey, what's up, prop? Oh, nothing. Just working around you a little bit. There we go. Oh, yeah, dude. And... Oh, yeah. Yes. Oh, yeah. There we that's, go. that's what we're looking for right there, right? Dang it. The one I lost was probably this size, too. Dude, did you see that wake on him? Yeah. Shout out and ate it. Funky. 256. 258. 258? 258, and it holds. 258. Nothing like it. There we go. We just added five pounds to our list on a couple casts off these stumps. They're all on these stumps. There we go. See you later. There we go. There we go. There we go. This one should help us out, huh? We're good. We're good then. You think he's going to help us out? We got to be like a 141 or something. While Parrot does that, I'm going to go ahead and step back here and grab this. Oh, that's going to help us. 100%. 187. Really? Yeah, that's a 187. Oh. You know how dark these fish are? Yeah, they're pretty dark. 187. 187. Let's see what that replaces real quick. Oh, that helps us out a bunch. 187 replaces a 137. You're killing it. Replacing them, replacing them, replacing them. There we go. Stepping it up, stepping it up. I'm just going to go ahead and just not put this down and let you... He's actually working the bottom baits now. He wasn't working a popper, but this rain has picked up. I don't know. He needs a morale boost is what he's looking for right now. He needs one big giant like that one he lost. That one came off the front of this little stump right here. I'll say this. I think the rain has slightly picked up to a more of a... Uh, from a drizzle to a downpour. Peric and I have actually came back to that spot where I caught those two and a half. I actually only got to flip to two of these things along this entire thing. So now we're going to come through and try to pick it apart. And the first one he comes up to, these root systems that are coming off here are coming off probably about 10 to 15 foot off. Kind of keep that in mind. That little clump you're seeing right there, there's roots that are coming 10, 10 to 15 foot off of them. So much hiding spots. There we go. There we go. Be over. If we get another two pounder out of here, I'd be very pleased. Oh yeah, that's over too. Or close. Look how look how freaking 
far down the third it was. Oh yeah, there we go. Yeah, that's definitely. Two four two four nine two four two four seven. There were another two and a half pounder right off there. There we go. Oh my god, you got him. You got him. Is he a good one? Huh? That's gonna help us out. That's gonna help us out. Dude, good cast. Oh my gosh, that's a big fish. Oh my god. Don't. Oh my gosh, yes. I got home. Oh, that is oh my god. That's gonna help us out. 320. Good job. 32. Okay, so your 320 just replaced our 172. Well, that's it. Tim's leaving. MTB guy. See you later. We just ate at this really random place. I can't believe that we found somewhere to eat out here. I'm gonna tell you guys right now. I'm gonna tell you guys right now. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. You guys ready? You guys ready? I know a lot of you guys are probably prepped and ready for the weight. Our total weight. Well, just deleted it, but it was 12.59. 12.59. Yeah, we smoked them. They had like a total of like five pounds. So guess who had to pay for dinner? Dropping in the morning. And there's Rob right there. Hardest one. <laughs> oh, this is impossible. <laughs> oh, this is not a good choice. Not a good choice. Do you look how far away you are from the. <laughs> yeah, give me a second. <laughs> Just get out and run. You're an idiot. <laughs> <laughs> what fell? Oh! <laughs> I saved the cone, but... <laughs> oh, this is what happens when you try to take a, a boat through the drive-thru. You can't reach. Good good try. It kind of worked. I honestly, like, that was a pretty... That was about as good as I could do. That was pretty decent. There was, a, there was a pole right there. Thanks for dinner. No problem. You're going to love this. This is... this is. If you're from Chicago, you know what Portillo's is. Portillo's? It's, Por it's Portillo's like, in my face. It's so good. Wow. The car behind us is super confused right now. <laughs> <laughs> Did you take out that cone? <laughs> There is one reason and one reason only why we are doing the intro or outro, excuse me, at my house instead of up in Wisconsin. That is because the audio went completely as you guys saw at the end of that clip. I was editing it on the plane. I was like, oh my gosh, it sounds horrible. Like there was a big chunk where you guys aren't going to be able to, it literally just sounds like absolutely nothing. I must have had a water droplet land right in where the mic port is or not the mic. Yeah, the mic phone dealio on top. I don't know. Oh, well, you guys get the point. Me and Peric crushed it we absolutely crushed it we beat them by like a trillion pounds or something it was it was really good we figured it out real quick and i had a blast flipping that was the biggest turn in my life and i'm glad i won it but i'm back in texas with sarah and avery and tomorrow we're gonna be heading down to the demolition ranch family's house if avery feels better avery are you gonna feel better baby girl avery what's going on with your hair back here Huh? No? Whoa, 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 whoa. So anyway guys, that is the deal. That is what we're gonna be doing. We're gonna be heading down south. Hopefully we'll be hanging out with Demolition Ranch. We're gonna find out. We gotta wait and see how Avery feels. I don't wanna bring a sick kid down to more sick kids or sick kid down to kids to get them sick. You know what I mean? But I think she'll be good tomorrow. This is day two or three of the sickness. And she sounds like she's getting better. So anyway, you guys know the deal. If you guys haven't seen that video, then click right there. If you haven't seen that one, then click on it. You know what? If you haven't, you need to subscribe down below. I love every single one of you. I just lost my sandal, and I'm about to disappear right about.